What's good, people? I'm going to go ahead and say this. I am sorry for the field cuts and spam. I genuinely did not know that I'm going to upload this here map maybe twice, if not three times in a row. Like I always tell you all, I try to bring on different maps. And I know it's like a damn, or I, it's like a damn broken record playing. But I honestly mean that. And so, to make up for it, here is an extremely shorter, by uh, comparison, video compared to all my other videos. So you see here, we're on field content, and here's my controls, because I always show them to you all, even though someone always asks what they are. Here we are, right? No one's here. Okay. The container's up there, and the last time we saw the container up there, someone became a threat. I'm going to go ahead and spoil the video for you. That's not going to be me. Instead, let me tell you what happens. Three minutes and 36 seconds go by. One comm station was used. The tower was hit. I try to find a guy who hit the tower. I do, but I don't shoot. I follow him. Then, I lose him. And some way, somehow, I end up up here. And that's when I spot this guy. You know, I would sit here and talk about that, but we don't have time. Because the barred house is being opened. Now, check the map. The barred house is right there. People, I know I keep, you know, strongly encouraging you all to wear headphones so you can hear things. I know footsteps, reloading, the sound of a person healing, you know, like a bandage disinfectant, whatever the case may be, someone opening a blue box, like the big blue container, or not big, but, you know, a box, rather. You don't need headphones to hear an M82 that's like 200 yards, if not 200 meters, my bad, away from you. Why would this person open the barred house safe when they just heard a gunfight not far from them? Why would they do that? So you see here, I'm expecting it to be a, lo a low-level player, if you will. Someone who doesn't have a lot of experience. Someone who doesn't know the true sense of danger. That is not me, but that is opening the barred house on Daylight Field content when a gunfight just happened near you. I'm expecting them to pull off a new player strat. What new players will do, they will go inside a barred house, sit in the barred house, and sit behind the safe of the barred house. One grenade will kill you. Don't do that. That was the literal definition of a hostile bush. I don't know how, how else to put it to you all. That's a hostile bush. That's the literal definition of a hostile bush. Like... You would expect someone to be in here. And you see, I'm not convinced. Because he was facing the window that was open. It's almost like he was just stanced up and ready to blast down a guy who jumped through that window. But no one's there. The hostile bush was the guy who opened the barred house. Not someone who was actually inside the barred house. And here's proof. I believe I'm going to jump through the window here. And I do. Guess what? No shots. None whatsoever. Loot the barred house safe and it wasn't even looted yet. This guy was just outside waiting to see the survivor of the gunfight, me, come over here and try to open the safe and then got him down to the UK. Nice plan but the execution was a bit off. 
Now listen, I get it. Some players are more afraid of other players. Some players are more aggressive than other players. And some players are just too afraid to move at all. I get it. But it takes a certain amount of ignorance to danger to hide standing up in a bush on a daylight map knowing your legs are exposed. If I wasn't so in tune with the idea of someone's hiding behind the safe in the barred house and actually looked at those bushes, I would have shot that bush way earlier. Way earlier. But I done seen so many new players do that straight. I was expecting a new player. So I guess this goes without saying. Expect the unexpected. Everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.